Okay, um, this is all about Olivia, which is my daughter. Um, she is 21 months. I'm gonna be two in November, November 13th to be exact. Um, she's still within potty training, like I said in the last video. Um, she says a few words, not really, nothing much. Um, the main thing that she says all the time towards the baby, she says it's big. He's always big to her. But she doesn't say he, she just says it's big. Um, I've been noticing that she seems to be jealous of him. Because um, it's like, when she first found out you know, how to walk and learned how to walk and talk and everything, she never wanted to be in a stroller, never wanted to be carried, always wanted to walk, be on her own, be free. Not anymore. Now she wants to be carried, she wants to be fed. She wants to be treated like a newborn. She's constantly waking up in the middle of the night um, for me to give her a bottle or just to come crawl in my bed. So lately what I've been doing is putting her in her room, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and she will just cry until she finally cries herself to sleep. Um, last night I put her in her room at 10 o'clock and she crying until 12.30 when she finally just passed out. Um, and I had the light on. The minute I turn off the light, she wakes up screaming. So that only lasted about a minute because she ended up going back to sleep. Um, her tantrums are horrible. She will literally, doesn't care where she's at, she'll be outside, somebody else's house, she will throw herself on the floor. Would hurt herself just to get what she wants. And if that doesn't work, she will throw up to get what she wants or just make herself do something so that she can get the extra attention and stay up a little bit longer. Um, and that literally drives me up the wall. Because I can deal with just about anything, but when it comes to throwing up, that's one thing I don't like. Ugh. It stinks and it's just disgusting. I'm really getting tired of the waking up in the middle of the night, though. That, that really does... It tends to just bother me a lot because when she does that, she not only wakes me up, she wakes him up. So then I have to go and give him a bottle or try to figure out how to put him back to sleep. And usually that takes about an hour or two. So I'm going to do the same thing I did last night and I'm going to put her in her room to see what time she'll fall asleep dead. Because um, the night before last night, she went to bed at 1. And then last night she went to bed at 12.30. So I'm hoping that tonight it'll be 12. And then, you know, each day will be a little bit, you know, until we get to the goal that I want. Because I can't be going to bed too late with her and then waking up extremely early because she seems to go to bed at 2 and then wakes up at 7. And I can't do that. I need my rest as well as she does and my son and my husband. I do need rest. It's starting to drain my soul, literally. It's draining me to death. I don't really have energy to do anything and it's like the minute I do have the energy and I clean and I wash dishes and I do the things that I need to do to get the house clean, she goes right after I'm done cleaning and she messes it up. So I just try to rest as much as I can and um, I leave the TV on the noggin channel for her to watch cartoons until she falls asleep. Right now I'm just waiting for her to pass out since the baby's sleeping so that I can finally take a nap. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. She always tends to take a nap when it's time for me to cook dinner. So I really don't get a nap. And right now I like, I could really use a nap at least an hour before I start cooking. So I start cooking at maybe 5, 5.30. And as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to have to start pumping again. Um, my milk supply kind of varies. Like some days it will decrease and some days it will increase. But, um... I will make another video because I did speak with somebody and it kind of helped me. So today I actually did get two ounces in just one session and that's kind of great. But um, I'm going to just do that in another video because I just wanted this video to be all about my daughter. Um, she absolutely loves Elmo, which is crazy because when we first bought her something of Elmo, and it started moving and, and laughing and talking. She just went berserk. Because I know I do have a video up of her crying. And the Elmo was laughing and moving. And she was just going crazy. 
Um, the way I got her to, to not fear that anymore was I played it again for her after I did the video. And of course she cried, but I clapped my hands and I was like, oh yay, you know, he's laughing. And now she likes it. So she got the Elmo Live. And that was just even more bugged out than um, the Tickle Me Elmo. It's just crazy. He will fall over and he'll say, um, can you help Elmo up? And when you literally pick him up, he'll say thank you. Like he knows that you picked him up. It's just crazy. Um, I'm thinking about getting her either for her birthday or for Christmas, Elmo Up Up. And I want to get her that little chair. It's like, um, they got it at Walmart for I think $35. You sit on it and he starts to vibrate and laugh. I want to get that for her so bad. But it's like right now their room is overcrowded with a lot of stuff that they have. As soon as I'm done fixing it up, um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. She just has way too much toys. But, um, I will catch you in the next video. The next video is going to be kind of a little, I was upset when I wrote